To maximize reliability and performance, PhD Virtual recommends using attached virtual disks to store your backup data. And with virtual storage pool technology, you can use multiple attached disks to create a single backup data store. With multiple virtual disks, you can overcome the 2 terabyte limit on individual disk sizes to create a backup data store sized for your needs. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can attach and configure multiple virtual disks to a single PhD VBA to create the backup storage you need. Before beginning, you'll need to add the virtual disks you want to use as a backup data store to your VBA. I've added two virtual disks to my VBA as seen in this dialog here. Now we'll open the PhD console and click Configuration. Next, I'll select my VBA from the drop-down list above. In the storage area, I'll select Attached Virtual Disk, then click Configure. Here I can see all of the disks available to add to the appliance. If you forgot to add disks, you can close this dialog, then use your hypervisor client to add the disks to the appliance virtual machine. When you open the dialog again, you can click Refresh to show the disk you've added. I'll select each disk and click Add to move them up. Note that if you're adding disks that have already been formatted as part of another virtual storage pool or volume group, you'll need to add all of the disks together. You cannot add single disks that were previously part of another pool or group. When I've added all of the disks, I'll click OK. The entire size of all disks combined is displayed here. I'll click Save to commit my changes. After restarting the VBA, I'm ready to begin running backups. If at any time I need to expand the size of my data store, I can simply attach another virtual disk to my appliance, then use the configuration dialog to add it to my backup data store. The virtual storage pool technology can also be used when defining the temporary write space to use when configuring instant VM recovery. For additional information on PHD Virtual Backup, visit the PHD Virtual website at www.phdvirtual.com.